So in this lecture, we're going to discuss thermodynamic as well as kinetic control, and we're also going to look at Hammond's postulate. So let's begin with the following two situations. In situation one, we have two reactions taking place. Reaction one given with the purple, reaction two given with the blue line. So here's our energy diagram. So the y-axis is our change in gift free energy on the standard state conditions, and our x-axis is our reaction progress going this way. So notice that both of these reactions begin with the same exact reactants, and that means the energy of the starting materials is identical for both of these reactions. Now, if we look at the product side, notice that the purple line is lower on the product side than the blue line, and that means the products are more stable in reaction one than reaction two. So, let's observe the transition state. Once again, just like the products, the transition state energy for our reaction one is lower than that for reaction two. Our activation energy for reaction one is lower than that of reaction two. And that means that reaction one will take place quicker. So, we can conclude that the more stable products of reaction one, the purple products, will be formed faster equilibrium than the blue products. So, the more stable products are formed faster, not because they're more stable, but because reaction one undergoes a transition state that is lower in energy. So, because the activation energy for reaction one is lower than that of reaction two, our reaction one takes place quicker and the products formed are more stable. So now let's look at a slightly different situation. Let's look at situation two. Here, once again, our reactants are identical, so they have the same exact energy, and the products of reaction one are more stable than the products of reaction two. But now, our transition energies are different. They're flipped. Now, our purple reaction has the higher transition energy, and the blue reaction has the lower transition energy. And this means that the less stable products of our reaction to the blue reaction will be formed faster than the more stable products, the purple, product, uh, the purple products. So, let's describe thermodynamic control as well as kinetic control. So, when a reaction is under thermodynamic control, we have enough energy to transverse both the forward reaction and the reverse reaction. And so, equilibrium can be achieved. In other words, when we have enough energy, both the forward activation energy and the reverse activation energy can be transversed. And so equilibrium can be achieved in which the forward rate is equal to our reverse rate. Therefore, the product concentration and type depends on energy difference between products. In other words, if we go to situation two, and let's suppose our reactions are under thermodynamic control, that simply means we have enough energy. And that means even though reaction two has a lower transition energy, because we have enough energy, the more stable products will be formed, even though our reaction or activation energy for reaction one is higher. Now, this is known as thermodynamic control. Now, in kinetic control, we have the following situation. A reaction under kinetic control does not have enough energy to climb both forward and reverse activation barriers. So we have very little energy under kinetic control. Therefore, the lower transition state will lead to the major product regardless if the product is more stable. So if this situation too is under kinetic control, if we have very little energy, the pathway that takes the lower activation energy will be more likely to take place. And that means because reaction two has a lower activation energy, reaction two will be favored even though the products formed are less stable. This higher transition state cannot be taken, cannot be achieved because we don't have enough energy. 
So now let's talk about Hammond's postulate. So let's suppose we look at an SN1 reaction and we take the first ionization step. So in the first step, our substrate dissociates into our carbocation. And this will be our transition state. So ionization step is an endothermic reaction. That means these will be more less stable than our reactant. So product is more stable than or less stable than reactant. So, Hammond's postulate states the following. Hammond's postulate states that the transition state of an endothermic reaction, like the one shown here, will resemble the products. In other words, notice that our activation energy is closer to our products than to our reactants because we have an endothermic reaction. For an endothermic reaction, our transition state will resemble, will look like the products more than the reactants. Now the same exact thing can be done for an exothermic reaction. In an exothermic reaction, the transition state will look more like the reactants than the product. So, going this way, we have an endothermic reaction. Going in reverse, we have an exothermic reaction. So, notice when we go in reverse, our activation energy is closer to our starting materials, to our reactants. And that means our transition state, our highest point, will be closer to our reactants than our product. So, once again, Thermodynamic control basically means we have enough energy to overcome the reverse and forward energy barriers. And that means the more stable product will be formed regardless of the activation energy barrier. But under kinetic control, we don't have enough energy. And so regardless of the stability of our products, the product that is formed is the one that has a lower activation energy. And once again, our Hammond's postulate states that for any endothermic reaction, the transition state will be closer to that of our products. And for any exothermic reaction, the transition state will resemble our reactants, our starting material.